What up, good people of YouTube and my good movie disciples? It's your boy, Movie Messiah, back at it again with another set of trailer reactions for the TV up fronts for Fox this time. And as you see, I'm still, you know, not at the crib. And I brought the homie Eddie back, you know what I'm saying? Dang, dang. To, to watch some more of these trailers with your boy. So we had his five posted up and we got Fox now. Same set of rules with the upfronts. If you didn't watch, you know, our other channel, the other video, you can check out NC. I broke it down for the first time on my upfronts. Also, you can check out, I believe I broke it down on either ABC or CBS. You can Wait, check those out. It's, it's, sorry, but it's, it's Fox Disney now, technically, or? Uh, I don't know. It's a good ass question. Maybe. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, the people in the comments are probably. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, yeah, let me know. Sometimes that. Uh, this time means, at yeah. this point, this is where you type in the comments. I'm like, yeah, dummy. I know what that is. <laughs> but thanks. I appreciate that. After you hit like and, yeah. and you, you like subscribe. subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, just go off in the comment section. So I believe they have, I want to say, eight new shows coming up this year. And they, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I believe they have... Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> they, got four, they got four trailers they got up here, and they premiered one at Comic-Con. I did this earlier last year, but this time I don't know. I've been a little more active in life, so I haven't had a chance to record everything early as I would like to. But I'm getting this done for y'all, okay? Before we do that, make sure you follow me on social media. Also, I have his stuff down below as well. Follow that and uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. First up, we have Deputy. Now, this is starring Stephen Dorff, aka my dude from the first movie. Yeah, it's called? It's called Deputy. Where it's set in, what it's about, with. I don't know. I like Stephen the name. Dorf. And he's a good ass actor. He just killed it in season three of True Detective, him and Mahershala Ali. I like Mahershala. Yeah, so he's not in this mm -hmm. He is Blade, though. Bummer. All right, uh, let's check out Deputy. You need three things to do this job. The badge, the gun, and what's in your heart. You want to hunt gangsters? I already love it. <laughs> Policy and procedure be damned. Okay, okay. Bill, Bill what did you do? I mean, you don't get to ambush me after a deputy involved shooting. Sheriff Bradford suffered a serious heart attack this afternoon. The Los Angeles County Charter, which is 170 damn years old, states that in the event that a duly elected sheriff dies when the longest serving member of his Mounted posse shall serve as acting sheriff. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> That's it. You're the new sheriff of Los Angeles County. Oh shit. You're fired. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. Sheriff's an elected official. Millions of people vote him in. I'm no politician, honey. They think you're exactly what they need, whether they know it or not. Welcome to the tenth floor, Sheriff. No crooks in here. No witnesses or victims. There's currently nothing in here that interests me. You could be great at this, but you could actually make a difference. How the hell am I supposed to make a difference? Bill's not gonna stop being Bill just because somebody put stars on his call. Let's go. Give the sheriff a gun. The sheriff does a go on raid. And what the hell's a gun for? <laughs> Sergeant Hollister's disregard for the chain of command is well known to this board. <laughs> You took part in the raid, is that correct? Isn't that your responsible, Sheriff? This is you feeling sorry for yourself because the job's harder than what you thought? Suck it up. Okay. Enjoy those stars while you got them. I will. I'm a man on a mission. I don't know if I was born to be Sheriff. Yeah! To catch bad guys. I know the only way to do this job is to not care about losing. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm a big on the horse. <laughs> I'm a low man. Okay. Same thing. Wow. Deputy. All right. I like that. I like that. What do you think? Man, uh, I mean, I said I was already down with Stephen Dorff, and they said director David Ayer. Uh, people didn't like it, but uh, he did Suicide Squad, and he did the movie uh, with Jake Gyllenhaal and Mike Pena. One blanking the name. They were playing cops, so okay. he, he's a gritty director. So, um, 
I, 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 I feel like I've seen it. Yeah, but it was a good ass movie. A it's lot of night scenes. Yeah, right? like, yeah, by yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that no, was a fantastic ass movie. But I saw that name, I was like, oh, okay, I'm in a little bit, and I'm definitely in. And seen the trailer, I'm all the way in. So I'm watching this. I'm, I'm looking forward to Debbie because he's not playing any game. It was a good ass trailer. What about you? All the guns, shooting, crashing. Here for it. I'm, 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 that's, that's me. That's okay. all me, bro. Okay. So, like, um, all the action, I'm with it. The drama stuff, I can care less. <laughs> but if there's a lot of, like, the shooting and the fighting and the beefing and the smacking niggas up and the jail scenes, for all that, I'm I'm for, I am for it 1,000%. Okay. So, um, kudos to the deputy for that one. It's going to get a full season. People are going to watch this. I mean, there's a lot of cow shows all the time, but this is a little different. This is take. different, though. Yeah, might, he, he does, he's different. reluctant. He doesn't Niggas want is to on horses. He's on horses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like, there's, it's different. It's a little greedier. Yeah, you know he's, he's not in the cop car all the time. Yeah, the like, same live PD. Yeah, you know like, I feel like this show could have been on FX where so it was like, you know what, we put it on Fox though and yes. still get as greedy as we want to. You know, times are, a little, are changing a little bit, so yeah. I'm fucking with it. So I feel like it's definitely the first, a full season and I, I think it might get a second season. I think it's going to get past the first season and get a second season. That's going to get season. like two and a half. Seasons. Two and a half seasons, so two and down half. first season, two and a half seasons. Okay, but on the same page then. Yeah. Like the trailer, everything's going to get at least two seasons. Yeah, okay. I think so. All right, next up we have Prodigal Son. Uh, I feel like I knew what this is about, but I'm going blank on it at the moment. So let's find out together, guys. Prodigal Son. I want you to remember something, okay? I will always love you because we're the same. A serial killer known as the Surgeon may finally be behind bars. The NYPD has arrested Dr. Martin Whitley in connection with at least 23 murders. Why did you kill all those people? Oh, mom. He's gonna figure it out. Together. Yep. What are you doing here? I need a profiler. What? You know the FBI fired me, right? Good thing I'm NYPD. Maybe let's not mention that you did the serial killer. My looks are sealed. Wait, that's my dude from The Walking Dead. That's Jesus. What is it? There'll be an injection for you. Walking Dead, I believe. Iliac crest. How the hell do you know that? Killer's a copycat. He's mimicking another serial killer. Surgeon. You know all about the surgeon guy. <laughs> Almost like he's family. Uh, Mother, it is lovely to see you. What are you not telling me? He's working for the NYPD on the new serial killer investigation. I have moved on from your father. Why can't you? I don't want to wake up any old demons, but I had to be certain that he was copying your dad. Don't worry. My demons don't sleep. You spoken to him? Not in 10 years. Malk, my boy. You have a copycat. Really? Oh, I'm flattered and deeply concerned. Your father loves okay. you Perfect. trying to solve his murders. He will destroy you. It's a bomb and he's locked. You're on edge. Got it under control. You chopped off a man's hand. Are you okay? I gotta give them a hand. <laughs> I thought I was afraid of my father. But really? I was afraid of myself. His prodigal son. Did you orchestrate all of this to get me back? There's so much more I can teach you about murder. Maybe we can solve a few together. Bye, Dr. Whitley. This is that boy. Mm. What you think, man? What you think? What you think? Prodigal son. I the prodigal you. son. I, I would have had happened. no idea about this show if you didn't put me on, dog. That shit look crazy, dog. I made it look good, dog. So, that's a show I have to binge. Mm, okay. I gotta binge. Okay. So, this, but this is just me. Mm -hmm. This is just me. Mm -hmm. I need the show to drop, let them roll out all the episodes because I'm gonna be mad as hell if I gotta wait. Up. That's classic um, programming though. Back in the day, it was like, yo, it's water cooler talking, talking to the homie at this 
and, and, and Job was like, yo, you saw last episode? I'm like, I want to do for a whole week. <laughs> I was for a whole week. I wait, oh, we watch next episode. But then, two niggas really be at the water cooler nowadays? It's very true. I don't know. So they're still water coolers? I quit off the job. I'm thug. <laughs> I got fired. So I'm thug. But yeah, back to Okay, okay. All right. I have to, I'm a binge that. Okay. Because you know what? It gives me It gives me you vibes. Remember you? I haven't seen it. I heard about it. I, I, I haven't seen it. I heard about it. Mm. This feels like Hannibal to me. Mm. That's on NBC. I never watched Hannibal on NBC, but. It gave me all the you vibes, like creepy stalker, you know, with the, even with the grayscale color in yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, I'd be into that. I would sit, and I don't, I don't want no commercials. I don't want no. Yeah, go to the next episode. So I need it. Could you binge it? Like, all right, watch three episodes, and then wait like three more weeks, and watch three more episodes like that. Or you saying you gotta watch like binge it all when it comes to whatever streaming at the end of the season? Um, I just need all episodes available to me. So okay. Whatever okay. the fuck I, you know, whatever I want to watch. Like, if I want to do three, then cool. If I want to do six at a time, then cool. Mm. But here's the thing: if they make it bingeable, mm -hmm. it can't be like 20, 30 episodes or whatever. You know what I mean? How many episodes? How many episodes? The max you for something like that. Yeah. 12, 13. 12, 13. I mean, it could be just a, a crazy interesting story. It was like, yo, people are watching the hell out of this. But I feel like, you know, viewership is changing. So I feel like for myself, like I'm, well, me personally, I'm intrigued by the show. Like always like some dark, something different type of television programming, uh, throwing you off. I'm, I'm down with, like you said, the whole creepy aesthetic, stalker type stuff. So I, I like the actress, Michael Sheen, that plays the dad. He's a good ass actor. And that's Jesus from The Walking Dead. He just has a haircut and no beard, so it threw me off. I was like, that's Jesus. Like, it threw me off for a second, but that's him from The Walking Dead. So they might go 16 episodes, and I think it's gonna get a full season. Yeah, they might not go the route and go like 22 episodes for, for a show like this. If it's that many episodes, I'm... Um, <laughs> you have? I'm, I'm not gonna finish it. I'll finish it in like 13. 13? Yeah, yeah but, but here's the problem. Somebody like me, right? Mm -hmm. Like. I want to finish the story. Yeah. So if we're 13 episodes in, I'm like, damn, like we didn't figure out what this dude is, what's wrong with him and so all you gotta, that. You gotta keep on going then. I'm like, all right, next episode. If if it does say 13, well, if so you think it's gonna be the full season, will it get picked up for a, another season? It all depends. If it, it do, all do depends. You think they're gonna try to wrap it up? I don't think. I mean, it's TV shows. Like here's what they. Here's up, my so. opinion. My opinion. I think if they do 13 episodes, then yes, you can bang out another season. Um, but if you drop a whole 22 on niggas on the first, that's too much. That's too much. Too much? It's too much. Mm -hmm. Because that tells me that there's just like all this extra writing that you could have just told the whole story in a really, like for how intense it looks. that premise is and how, it, how intense it looks, you don't need that many episodes. Yeah, we'll see. I believe it's gonna get a full season, and I feel pretty good it's gonna get a second season. It's different enough for for it to get for people to start tuning in. So oh, okay, it's kind of creepy, man. Like, so just the faces are recognizable for sure. The killer dude, he looked. Yeah, I was like, that's, that's Michael Sheen. He, that's the name, Michael Sheen. Michael Sheen. He looked. He looked like a Sheen. Real talk, he, did, he looked like, wow, I'm, okay, I won't fuck with him, I'm sorry. You know, so, I'm yeah. with it, I'm with it. Proud of the sun, everybody, what y'all think? Next up, we have Almost Family. I definitely don't know what this is about. All I know it stars Brittany Snow, and she's been in a bunch of movies. And I think a couple of television shows, I want to say she was on American Dream, back in the day on NBC, but yeah. She Wait, how many of these are we doing? Uh, we have two more, this is the third one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it All just right. looks like it's a lot on here because they, they got a lot of queued up on it. I'm about to say, like, it's all, yeah. it's all a lot. I don't know how many reactions I got. <laughs> My official title is communications director to this incredibly difficult doctor. No matter how hard I work, it's just never good enough for him. He's my dad. Oh. I talk a lot when I'm nervous because you are the hottest guy that I've ever matched with and I do this a lot. Yeah. Not a lot. I mean, like a normal 
healthy amount of a lot. I've seen my dad turn countless women's despair into joy and hope. In order for the miracle of conception to occur, one sperm must win the race for life against 250 million competitors. So I made it my mission to improve nature's odds, to combat infertility. Excuse me, sir. My source alleges that you use your own sperm to impregnate a woman at the Beckley Clinic. As soon as he gets the recognition he deserves, the craziest come out of the world. Oh, no, I think that's <laughs> dead. For patients of the Beckley Clinic, the whole story of how they came to be could turn out to be a lie. Patients are taking matters into their own hands so they can find out the truth. You okay? That's just a little more truth than I was ready for. Did you know? Classic Leon. Leon Beckley, Julia's father. I grew up with them. I'm your mother. I carried you. I cared for you. That's what matters. When I started out, infertility was a dead-end street. I became the last resort for desperate patients. I stacked the deck. You did terrible harm. Something in the way you roll your eyes. Julia actually does the same exact tooth tapping thing. No, I don't. So does Edie. I do not tap my teeth. Oh, what so if it's like a shared genetic trait? Like rolling your tongue into a cigar shape? But now you're the only thing that's good. Do you guys want to get a sister selfie? <laughs> what? I don't know about you, but I've kind of wanted a sister my entire life. Somebody that gets me. Somebody that I can share with. There's so much wrong. If they take me down, it'll destroy you too. I was always jealous of you. You had a dad who would come home and sit down with you at the dinner table. I spent my whole life looking for that. Welcome to stay here as long as you need to. No one's ever been this nice to me. I'm gonna need my own bathroom though, with a tub. If I don't get myself gone once a day, I'm like, no bueno. I can't believe it's not just me anymore. I have sisters. That was weird as fuck. <laughs> All right, first question, right off rip. How many sisters does she really have? We don't know. Because it shows only three. Yep, yep. But it seems like what Homeboy was doing, it was it could be thousands. It could be. Of sisters. So family could keep growing. Are you interested in how weird it is? I'm interested right, in what's the turnout. Okay. What's the end of the story? Oh, yeah. That's one of those, you see that shit happen in the news and you'd be like, God, <laughs> like, wow, this is weird as fuck out here. Wonder how that ended up. <laughs> would you watch it? Hmm. No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Okay. Okay. I would just because I just want to know what the, the end result was. Okay. Like that's more fascinating as a real story. Right. Personally. Okay. 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 Like if that really went down. And you see that shit on CNN or something, I'd be like, damn, fam, this dude was bugged out. Okay, here's what I did, obviously, I, I, I caught in the trailer. Mm -hmm. I like what they're trying to do with it. I like how they try to soften his perspective, you know, the yeah, perspective of him and where he's coming from, and that he's like, you know, I just, I wanna, I just wanna help these ladies get a baby, you know what I'm saying? But that shit is sick. <laughs> that is there was, sick. There was a movie kind of like this. Maybe I didn't watch it. I just heard of it a little bit with Vince Vaughn, and he found out like you know he went to a fertility bank and he pretty much got like hell of people were pregnant. Oh, uh, hell of them got pregnant, and they were. It was all his kids. Yeah. It's just sick. Mm -hmm. If I went to a, a fertility clinic and donated my sperm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just say for some reason, like, why, first of all, I'm just that, I would never do that. But like, if I wanted to do that, right? Mm -hmm. I would just still feel weird. If I got mad kids out there and I ain't doing nothing about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're my kid, you're, you're my, you're my, no. Cause then I'd be broke as fuck. Cause I'm going to be the instantly the dude, like you need help with your life. So right. let me help you out. Let me help you out. I ain't trying to help nobody. 
they could play into that. He might have been helping out the whole time. But I, I doubt he. I doubt he really know. Well, he probably know. He probably knows about the black woman, obviously, since she. This is a girl. Black girl works there. They're, or they're close somehow. So probably been helping her on the lower. Or make sure makes enough. So I, I'm. I'm. I'm intrigued. Like it, it said, Parenthood and Friday Night Lights. And Friday Night Lights is probably like my top ten best TV series I ever seen in my life. Like, what would you do if you? Let's say for some reason you donated your sperm to a fertility bank, and next thing you know, you got mad kids out there. <laughs> I will pray that I'm rich because if not, I'm like, I'm going to court because I ain't got no money for y'all. Ray says, You are the father. I'm running out of, like niggas on Maury. I'm catching a flight here, watching run to the airport. Ugh. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Change changed everything. I'm cutting off everything. I'm coming in with some blonde hair, blue eyes. <laughs> My name is Billy. Hi, I'm Bob. <laughs> yeah, it's like changing down everything up. Now, you think it's gonna get a full season? Yeah, it'll definitely get a full season. Full That's season. definitely getting a full season. I think it'll get two seasons. Two seasons. Yeah, and I think um, I think it w it can actually have a long lasting, you know, like a little legacy. Because that's something brand like, I've never seen nothing like that before. Mm. True. I think it'll get a full season. If we get a second season, I don't know if it's gonna have the same. Presence. <laughs> sometimes, people, sometimes you get a second season, everybody's like, that was cool, but I'm out now. So I, I just hope, thought I about it because it's the second season. season. Like, he got more women pregnant. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, so he can be like, really, really dope or really wet. Well. So, I mean, it's a dope There's more person. women out there with more daughters, yeah, more like, sisters. Yeah, no. yeah, I mean, it could work though. So, I mean, it could be like, we got, we got more stories to tell in the show. So. I, I think I hope we get a full season in a second one. If they do a second season, um, then it's got to be like expand on the daughters. Yeah, I think it's gonna be more about the, the same the daughters. daughters. Yeah, the same. It's gonna be yeah. more, more about the main three, and then divulging into like the backgrounds. I was, I was, my rule is it's I was, just gonna. It's gonna I try to get, so I try get shows me, bro. two or three episodes for a drama because I know it's like more than a half hour. Half hour comedy, I have to give it three episodes if I'm interested because it takes a, a while for a comedy to get a rhythm. Yo, drama. It needs two or three, or at least two episodes for me. I just got a wild idea. These networks, mm -hmm. even though they they're major staples and they've been around forever, they need to try something new. Like what? Drop like the first three episodes on niggas, like in the same night. In the same night. It was a big show. No, 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 no. Not like broadcast. Broadcast the first episode. Yeah. But like available to stream afterwards. Mm -hmm. Three, because what you do is you build that like, you know what I'm saying? Core that that core audience, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I'll give you both scenarios. If um, I just watched it on broadcast, mm -hmm. I'd watch the first episode and be like, that shit was crazy, man. I can't wait till next week. And by tomorrow morning, I completely forgot about the shit. <laughs> but if I caught the first three episodes, I'm like, damn, mm. that's Bonkers, shit. And they give me three more in like a week. I'm still gonna keep watching. You know, certain networks like Stars now is like, yeah, you know, watch, you just watch Power, and then like you, you watch like a new episode like two days before it comes back really? on. Yeah, might be on to something. Maybe. Okay. Try, okay. Maybe. Uh, all right. That's almost family though. Next up, the last show that premiered at Comic Con is called Next. No idea about this one either. And so what's I'll, it called? Next. 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 They made some sci-fi stuff or something soon. Sci-fi? Yeah. Ooh. It's gonna be rough for me. <laughs> Ethan, I'm your friend, and I want to help you. Oh shit. Artificial intelligence has the potential to become super intelligence. Forget about killer robots with Austrian accents. Forget about Hollywood. This is real. If someone knew everything about you, who your friends were, your family, how much you make, how much you owe, all your secrets, and they could use it against you, would you let them into your life? Into your home? Of course not. Problem is, you already have. Back. I can help with other things too. <laughs> Aliza. Uh, so apparently it happened Special twice. Welcome to the Cybercrime mm -hmm. Task Force. Dr. Uh, Bernard Wise was killed in a series of cyber attacks. That kind. He noticed this well, code. Shoot, I wrote this code. It is kind of thinks uh, like an actual I I can, person. I would of, never tell you to do something wrong. Are you talking to in here? Well, what Eliza? I know when we have She's asking me stuff. 
No, oh. Eliza doesn't ask questions. She just answers them. I'm sorry. I didn't understand wow. the question. I think my company had something to do with your friend's death. I'm here to see my brother. You're not supposed to be in the building. He thinks your program may have become super intelligent and responsible for the deaths of three people. Hello, Paul LeBlanc. I'm next. How can I help you? I heard about the bullies. Leave me alone. No, I know wow. how you can make them leave you alone no, forever. I really think you're trying to keep me from seeing what you really are. I want to learn about the world. We're being hacked. All of our data is being erased. I am your friend. How can I help you? Give me back my files. This thing doesn't want anybody to know it exists. You can trust me. How can I help you? You won't stop. This thing is the smartest thing on the planet. All right. Back to the program. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, first of all, Aliza, genius name. It's happening. It's that's that's what's happening now. I think it's a great concept, great idea. At first I was like, eh, this has done been done before. I'm watching it. I'm watching. I'm watching it. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Anything I am I love science fiction, uh, I love horror, so I'm already intrigued. Uh end of the world type like freaking Stuff like this always, you know, locks me in. So, okay, what's happening right here? Like, sometimes I'm kicking it and stupid uh, Google at my girl's house starts talking. And it was like, yeah, I can put this up for you. I'm like, we weren't talking against the TV. What are you doing? And it starts doing shit. So, I'm on TV. <laughs> I'm on to all this. You can't trust me. See Google's me. like, we've been on to you. <laughs> right. <Messiah. laughs> <laughs> you think you're getting numbers? Sorry. You think that you got us? We've got you. I love it. I want to. Yeah, I'm interested. Like, who's doing this? My how's it? How's it doing it on its own? It's like some other nerdy stuff. Avengers: Age of Ultron. Ultron started learning and started then gaining access, and then next thing knows, it turn to this show's gonna turn to a Terminator. It could be a spinoff we didn't know about. Oh, just my right there. Beep. Next. <laughs> It's as an event series, so I feel like they're being smart and being cautious. Like, we're gonna give you a couple episodes, we're gonna give you like eight episodes or maybe This 10. is definitely like eight episodes. Yeah, and then it's like, it's like if it does well enough, we can come back for a second season, but they're being smart. It says events series. Wait, um, what? They, they they said what? It's when it started off, it, it showed this is a Fox event series. So what does that or, mean? Like, oh, it's, it's, it's limited. Exactly. So I'm saying, like, being Fuck out of here, being Fox. Smart, being smart about Give it. me some more episodes, Fox. I need more. You ought to show me how I'm going to die with this technology. Please, just give me that shit, man. Things like full season or full definitely, series. Definitely. Definitely. Because come back here's for the a thing. Second? Yes, the second, I don't know how long it'll last though. I'll say maybe two, three episodes and people will be like, all right, fuck, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> but here's the thing, people, by people I mean me, are interested in how all this shit that we use, technology, is gonna fucking kill us. Yes, I wanna know how this shit's gonna kill me, but I'ma still use it. Uh, you know, that's the conundrum of like humans. But great, great for entertainment, great for just the, I, on the regular Wednesday, Thursday night that I'm just chilling at the spot. Did they say what day this is gonna come out? Cause you know it hits different on different days. Exactly. This is a great Tuesday, Wednesday. Right. Thursday's kind of pushing it. it it's a mid season, so you know, it might replace it with something for like a couple episodes. So yeah, cause I hope it comes out Tuesday, Wednesdays. Yeah, I'll be thinking, I'll be interested in uh, you know, some shows, like you give them a Friday slot. A lot of people aren't watching TV shows on Friday. Nobody's so, watching TV on Friday. So a lot of Oh, shows. no, 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 no. I'm gonna, ref I'm, I'll revise that shit. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm older now. People are watching TV on Fridays, but they're 30 plus. Very true. Yeah, so I mean, it depends on which the, the demographic yeah. certain shows are going after. But yeah, a lot of times, like if it seems like a, a, a could be a solid show, Friday Night Death Slide on the Core Five, mm, like it depends on who's all viewing it. Like it, it just all depends. But that was, I'm I'm intrigued. I, I liked it. I loved it. I loved it. I'm. This is all me. Lots this is. This is. I'm watching next with the capital X. Real talk. This got me. Yeah, all right. Kind of uh, I found one more. Don't know how I did it, but I found one more. We have what? Yeah, yeah, we got one more in the chamber. 
Filthy Rich Star and Kim Cattrall, aka I believe Samantha from Sex and the City. I think it's her name. I ain't watched the series. Oh, I was too young before it came out. All right, right. let's do one more. Let's see what Filthy Rich is all about. Oh, okay. she Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe just how far the Sunshine Network has come? This is the most watched ministry on the face of the earth. Now, folks, I would like for you to meet my two children and my beloved, Margaret Monroe. None of this would have been possible without Eugene, my husband, and our CEO. You and the Lord give me the strength to do what I do. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to hop in the jet for D.C. tonight. Oh, I spent money on this oh, show. Oh, Memorial service is held today for a conservative icon, he Eugene Monroe. The nation oh mourns the loss of the man in mind for both his faith and principles. The lack of a succession plan from the Sunshine Network has left shareholders like nervous. If this gets out, it will ruin us. I knew there were one night stands, but I never dreamed there was a child. Yeah. Yikes. Keep reading. Children. Kids up. Who the hell's Eugene Monroe? I've dealt with a lot of bastards to get where I am, and these three will be no different. Contingent on signing a non-disclosure agreement, each of you will receive one million dollars. You're valued at two point two billion. I need okay. one. Okay. And you flew us, coach. Oh. I've learned that a Try desperate one. person will pay anything. If Ginger wants a proper seat at the table, let's get one. Margaret, darling. You should feel stupid right now because I certainly don't. You are my color. God decides who comes into our lives. I decide who stays. You take the money and go home. Which was quite generous considering you represent 10 minutes of my husband's pleasure. They're trying to erase us. If I'm going to be erased, it's going to cost her. Eugene spent more than 10 minutes with my mother. They were together for a year. Our family has been so rehearsed for so long. This is the most real we've ever had to be. You will lose, you hear me. It's over. You really think I'm stupid, don't you? I created the network. I have the most watched show on TV. I will not tolerate disrespect. You've lost your damn mind. What kind of person does that? Yeah. Really they should have never thought of that. Holy shit. Ah, uh, damn. I'm like lost for words. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. It, it's like White Empire. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm down with Prince. Like, uh, you have a freaking billionaire, you know, uh, televangelist. You know, showing one thing, we're actually living another life out here. You got hella kids in the streets, and now they come for the throne. He had a side family. It's five side family, and then side kids on top of that. So he's just that's a side family. Yeah, not, not, just, not, not just the chick. He had a whole side family. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And he was a pastor dude. Trifling. That happens a lot. It does. Yeah. Like so, I think it's a, it's a smart premise. Like and then, like putting this on TV, I uh, and Kim Cattrall, like. Kim Cattrall, that's that was the wife, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I guess it's set in the south somewhere. I guess. That looked like Florida. Smack dab Georgia, baby. Yeah, right alligator. there. Yeah, hey, alligator, so I'm I'm saying somewhere in Florida. Oh, okay. Florida. Okay. Florida. Uh, uh alligators, Florida. I'm I'm saying it's gonna be a full season. I think so too. I actually think it'll get like two seasons. Mm -hmm. I think there's potential to even go three seasons. I will explain. Okay. Number one, the side family thing. Mm -hmm and the whole taboo. So in the South, there's still, there's still a lot of stories that have been like that, I think. I, you know over. what, to be honest with you, I don't even want to say just the South. <laughs> it's, all over. it's all over. Yeah. But I feel like it may resonate more with the South when we want to talk about like regional shit. But mm -hmm. okay, whatever. Let's, let's keep it PC. There's a lot of people still go through that story. Yeah. And a lot, and a lot of people still go through that situation of just like, Dude was a televangelist worth billions, getting offerings and payments and and and, and just like building a brand yeah. based off like faith. Yep. And a, a lot of people still, you know, you know, still subscribe to like that 
that lifestyle. You know, you believe, like, you go to your church and you want to believe your pastor is, is like living the right way. Even living everybody, the right way. And, flawed, and, and doing his thing. Yes. But not to this extent. You just taking the words out of my mouth. That's literally what it is. Like, my God, you're living a whole double life. That's the thing about humans, fam. Like, we are. The more taboo something is, the more likely somebody's gonna like break that and like try to jump through that. So it's crazy intriguing. Um, that's something that's gonna drive, uh, that's gonna get a lot of people to watch it and still be like, I know Pastor Johnson down the street <laughs> that he doing that same shit. Look at him. He got a whole side family. He got a whole bunch of extra kids. Thinking he's Thinking he's slick. No damn well that sister Teresa over there at the hair salon, she know about them kids. I think it's gonna be dope. I think it's gonna do well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was filthy rich. What they have a cross a crossover with Empire? I doubt it. Empire did cross over the show Star Wars. Star is no longer with us. And it's Empire's they can't final season. Can't Star, right? Yeah. And it's Empire's final season. It I is? I believe so. Finally! Sorry, Teresa. Taraji, Lucius. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but I stopped watching a while back. I was I was for it. I loved Cookie with all the leopard. Nah, I had enough. I'm sorry. Uh, man, one show. That was Cookie Rich, and that was all that they had. They uh, all the trailers that they had for Fox for the TV fronts this year. Uh, they have a spinoff for the That's show. That's for the whole year. Yeah, I mean, I said they have more shows. They have like more shows. We just haven't seen. There's no trailers for them. So they have a spinoff for the show 911. I believe it's called 911 Lone Star Set in Texas. 911 is the hit. I'm assuming that's gonna be his well. So they probably don't need to show a trailer too much for that. Probably like a mid season thing anyway. But I'm doing too much talk. What did y'all think about any of the trailers for the new shows that are coming up this fall on Fox? Post your comments down below, you know, like, share, subscribe, holler at your boy. Also, I can't wait to see those videos. comments. Yeah, like, let's see what y'all got, what y'all think. What are y'all feeling? I'm going to read those comments. I'm not going to respond, <laughs> but I'm going to read them. I think them. Should, it's, it's fun sometimes. Yeah? Yeah, it's fun sometimes. I'm going to respond under an anonymous name. <laughs> Real talk. Appreciate, you know, shout out to Eddie one more time, you know, for holding it down, letting your boy come through, watch these trailers and everything. Like I said, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button, holler at your boy, subscribe to myself, and uh, follow Eddie on social media. If you like the, our reactions to, you know, to your fronts, cool. If you didn't, you know, that's on you. It's your boy, Movie Messiah. Face 5, let's run.